Hi everyone, this is Matthew Ma with Allegra LED Lighting. Uh, today I would like to share with you a newly found problem uh, with the Ballast Compatible LED2. Uh, it may surprise a lot of you. As we know, there are three disadvantages uh, with the Ballast Compatible LED2. Ballast Incompatibility, Ballast Energy Consumption, and Ballast Maintenance Cost. Aside from another issue uh, that is the burn hazard, uh, which caused a leading U.S. manufacturer to have two recalls on their ballast compatible LED2. Uh, let's talk about uh, the new problem that we discovered. Uh, let me see. Okay. Uh, this is a problem, what I call the D lamping incompatibility. Uh, I will show you how it happened and how to avoid it. But I would like to start with a story. Uh, just last week I visited a, a, um, one of the largest universities in Florida. Uh, they just did a project, uh, a lighting retrofit uh, pilot project on one of the buildings where they retrofit uh, the TA, both 4 foot and four, uh, uh, 2 foot TAs with a dual mode LED tube. Uh, that T was chosen because it claimed to offer 10 year warranty and touted a uh, broad uh, compatibility with different uh, ballasts. What surprised everyone is after three weeks, three weeks only after the installation, one of the three lamps in the fixtures fell almost on all fixtures. That's one third of the lamp after three weeks. So much for that 10 year warranty and the ballast compatibility. So, why did it happen? Uh, a closer look, a look of the issue revealed they are running, uh, they're operating a four lamp ballast and that drive three LED tubes. And that's the issue. I'm going to show you why. Over here I have a line voltage fixtures. Here I have a ballast fixtures. And what I have here is also a dual mode tube. And the LD tube can operate on line voltage and ballast. So let's take a look. Before I power down, I want to have a closer look of the wattage. As you can see, right here to my left, that's your right. Uh, is the wattage reading of the line voltage fixtures. Nothing there because I have turned uh, engage uh, the LED tube yet. To my right, as your left, is the current wattage reading uh, of the ballast. Even though there's no lamp there, the ballast is still consuming power. Uh, let me take a look. The reading is 3.5. Okay, I'm going to engage the LED tube on line voltage. There we go. So let's take a look at the reading. Uh, I think it's uh, 15, 15 watts. So on um, the ballast itself is what 3.5 ish. Okay. So what would your guess be if I put this attitude into the ballast fixtures? By itself, on line voltage, alo line voltage alone, it is drawing what 15 watts. So put it together, you will assume the total will be 18, 18.5, roughly. Okay, let's power on. On ballast pictures. One, two, three. What's the reading? It's supposed to be 18.5, isn't it? 20, what do we get? 20.6. 20.6. So 20.6 minus 15. You get what? 6.5 or 5.6 instead of a 3.5, remember, when the bed is suffering by itself. So, what it meant is instead of drawing 3.5, the ballast is now drawing 5.5 watt to power the single lamp. 
The ballast I use here is actually a two lamp ballast. So when I have it drawing, uh, driving one LED tube, its power is, is consuming 5.5 watt. Should I put two LED lamp here, it still would draw, the ballast would draw 5.5 watts. So the ballast, the two lamp ballast was designed to drive two TA tubes, or now two TA LED lamps. And if you have two lamps installed, each one will have, uh, share half of the load, isn't it? Now with a single lamp, it doesn't drop. The battery doesn't drop its energy consumption to 50%. No, it's still 100%, but now 100% load is now driving that single LED lamp. So back to the scenario with that university, they have a four lamp ballast. Should they have four lamps in the pictures, each one will share 25% of load. Now given that they only have three lamps, so each one is sharing 33% of the load. And that overdrive the LED lamp. Back in the days with the TA, uh, TA Flossy tube doesn't have any electronics in the tube, so the single ballast can drive three lamps or four lamps, no issue. But with LED tube has electronics in the driver that's inside the LED tube, so it's very sensible, sensitive uh, to the overdrive. Now when you overdrive the LED driver, it will shorten its life prematurely like we have seen with this university, uh, one of the lamps burn out in three weeks. Guess what? Now with two lamps, being driven by a full lamp ballast, each one share what? 50% of the load? You can guess they won't last very long. So the point is, because of the drivers inside the ballast, uh, inside the ballast compatible LED tube, it is susceptible to overdrive, uh, ballast overdrive. So if you are retrofitting uh, with ballast compatible LED tube, I would recommend you do one to one change out. But if you think that it's too bright, chances are because of uh, efficacy improvement on the LED tube, uh, a lesser lamp, a fewer lamp, will maintain the same lighting level. But if you do the D lamp, I would recommend you take out the ballast. Uh, if you use ballast compatible tube, you cannot do that. Therefore, for your own planning, uh, it would be good that you use or choose a dual mode LED tube that is if you want to do one-to-one -one change out, you can operate with the existing uh, ballast. And when you D-Lamp, you can then bypass the ballast, have it run on line voltage. But again, if you plan to do that, have it run on line voltage, make sure you pick a dual mode attitude that has anti-shock protection. Otherwise, you may run into a situation where you cannot power off because of the building operation uh, need. You cannot power off the building or turn off the light, you have to do a hot swap or hot bypass of ballast. Uh, a lot of the LED tube, uh, the DUMO LED tube, uh, does not, uh, they don't have the anti-shock protection, with, meaning you cannot do hot swap. Make sure you pick the one, uh, uh, the DUMO LED tube that has that anti-shock protection to allow you to do the hot swap. If you have a question or would like to learn more about a ladder short free LED tube that has that safety switch provide you the anti-shock protection uh, in both the line voltage operation and uh, the ballast operation, give us a call or email us. Uh, Till next time, thank you for listening. Thank Bye. You.